Today, we have an actual behind the scenes look at the development process for Wizards of the Coast latest standard Magic the Gathering set, Phyrexia All Will Be One. Magic the Gathering's latest standard release clearly aims to take the power level to new heights. But does that mean that you and I, regular Magic enthusiasts, are going to take to and enjoy this product? I believe the success of Phyrexia All Will Be One is going to boil down to two main products. So today in that video, we're going to talk about those products. And don't worry, I have so much data to support my assertions. And then we are going to take a look at what I think could be a change in direction for Wizards of the Coast and Magic the gathering. But without further ado, let's talk about the products. Here we have a breakdown of every single product ever sold on TCG Player for Phyrexia All Will Be One. And it's clear that we're seeing kind of a lot of the same when it comes to standard releases with a brand new player in the mix. You can see the in the light blue on the graph, the completed bundle is dominating a good amount of community spent. So collector boxes sold down to only 25%. And I believe some of that is us collectors, people who want the shiny and want the special things are actually allocating funds into the completed bundle. And as far as total spend per product collector box, still clearly dominating set box is definitely the overwhelming community favorite as far as number of boxes is sold but the completed bundle takes a good chunk there with 12 and a half percent of total community spend going to this bundle and this to me says as far as phyrexia all will be one is concerned us casual enthusiasts regular magic the gathering players feel very in on three products and i feel like the set box i'm going to leave out here because the set box feels very consistent maybe that's what makes it a good product it's an extremely consistent product and it's not really going to shake things up too much but we have a couple things here that i believe are going to shake up our collectors and our you know people looking to get shiny things community and that is the collector boxes and the completed bundle so starting with the collector box first and foremost we have to talk about this right now this is the most insane thing i've ever seen when you look at the individual collector box sales and it's a little small on your screen but there is a 12 box sale at 248 dollars per box if you are that person this is a standard magic the gathering release wizards of the coast has shown us no inclination that they are going to short print these boxes you in my opinion you do not you do not have to pre-order these boxes, especially at that price. Oh my gosh, I had to get that off my chest because like, that's insane. What are we doing? Gosh, I want to get that person their money back. But when it comes to the collector box, we don't know what is special in the collector box. We know there's going to be alt art. We know there's going to be full art treatments. So we probably know there will be a unique foiling. But we also know the raised oil slick foiling or foil with, you know, oil kind of all capitalized as it's been called in the community. I think that's really fun is not enough to really make those boxes pump. We have actually have a conversation on this channel about collector boxes and how when the cards in the set are the only thing special about the collector box, you're not chasing serialized artifacts or legends cards or, or pink strip Higatsugu cards or anything like that, it doesn't tend to perform well. And when it doesn't perform well, it means that often we shouldn't be in a foot race to buy the collector product because it will come down in value. I think there's a lot of feels bads on the horizon and maybe that's that's subject to change. If we find out more about the collector product as far as Phyrexia All Will Be One is concerned, that's subject to change. Now again, it's always subject to change if Wizard short prints this product, which we're going to get into here in a second, but I would be weary about pre-ordering collector boxes. I really think we might be in for a rude awakening when it comes to the set and when it comes to your local game store that means they're not going to want to hold on to too much product if they're holding on to product and you know they're part of that race to the bottom and they haven't really unloaded yet they could find themselves in a weird spot but the most interesting product when it comes to this latest set is going to be the completed bundle. I know each and every one of you out there are excited. I will be doing openings of these bundled courtesy of my patrons and also courtesy of channel sponsor MinMax Games, which is a place you can go to pre-order these bundles right now. I'll put a link in the description of this video. But this product is going to be exciting. The idea of a selection of 12 
20 mythics from the set that you can get in this special textured foil combined with the full art unique lands and unique land treatments that you're going to pick up in this product have a chance to make it extremely exciting and at a price point of right now on Amazon $80 means that it's not going to break the bank. I'm not, I'm not saying that you're guaranteed to get your money out of this product, but it's clearly more available to the average consumer than something like a collector box. But this brings me to the biggest gotcha in this whole discussion. The biggest what if in all of what ifs when it comes to Wizards of the Coast and Magic the Gathering product. I want you to sit with me for just a second and imagine a world. Let's all do a thought exercise. Let's close our eyes, cover our ears. Don't well, don't cover your ears. You got to listen to the video. But I want to imagine a world where Wizards of the Coast actually prints the completed bundle in a limited fashion. They treat the cards that you can get in that bundle as something to chase, something that's desirable. It's maybe one print run. It's on the shelf, available to everybody right away. But as the product slowly dries up, collectors and people chasing th shiny things have to turn elsewhere to either the secondary market or into the collector box to get their pack Kraken fix. Is this going to be the first example of Wizards of the Coast returning to a product having collectability? This, to me, is a tentative... Maybe. I want to say yes, but it's so hard to believe that Wizards of the Coast is actually going to pivot in this direction when they've shown us no inclination that they will in the past. But the one piece of hope that I personally hold on to is we have seen the rest of the SKUs on our graph before. We've seen the draft box, the set box, the collector box, the various bundles, the jumpstart. This product, in theory, would not do anything do any harm if it were short printed revenue that was already going to come in for a standard magic the gathering release theoretically will already come in across those skews now some of that revenue could be diverted into this you know possibly collectible product and if that's the case that could be a really exciting time for us and our community to get our hands on these cards open this product experience it for a limited amount of time and then once it's gone, have the things that we opened maintain a little bit of value. Now, again, nothing's going to skyrocket. You will not, I cannot imagine a world where you get $120 out of this box after spending 80 on it. Like that just, that doesn't really make sense to me. I don't see that happening, but more importantly, I want to know what you think. Do you think Wizards of the Coast is going to grasp this final opportunity to make something in a standard Magic the Gathering set? actually feel collectible or do you think we're just going to get a trillion of these and reprint it over and over again i can't stress enough i do think that's what's going to happen with collector boxes i want to know what you guys think guys thank you so much all of the data i use in these videos is available to everybody free through the month of january i'm going to pin that comment in the comment section below i'll make a comment i'll have a link to the post there with all that data is free i appreciate each and every one of you guys and if you could share this video with a friend or a group of friends because i think these conversations are important and more importantly i want to know if they're buying the completed bundle i want to know if you're buying the completed bundle and what you think of it guys until next time you all know me my name is josh and thank you for letting me hang out with you today i will see you around goodbye